Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I shall review Benny Chickering's CVF deck. Before I do that review, can you press like, press subscribe, <laughs> click it if you want as well, and uh, go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course. It's very, very good. Very good. And my email ding just went off because I'm incredibly popular and very unprofessional. Uh, so do that. Go and see cardmagiccourse.com, read all the reviews and it'll be good. You'll like it. Go and have a look. That's what does it all. Uh, right. <laughs> I'll stop rambling now. So this uh, interesting one, I thought this looked great on the trailer. And I was thinking, oh, it's not going to look that good, is it? And it does. So that's good. It does what it says, which is nice, which, um, which Vanish and Ink are very good at, aren't they? But I did, uh, Benny Chickering came out with the uh, Hoffman's Dream, which I, I wasn't so keen on. I, I thought it was a lovely thing, but it was, it was a bit limited and you couldn't really do it unless the lights were off and all that. And I was thought, oh, is this going to be something else that's going to be limited and you can only do it in certain situations? Um, and it's not. It's It's does, like I said, what it says, but in, in all situations. So the trick is, um, you the basic version of it is that someone picks a card, you got a coin on a table, you tap the coin with the cards, it disappears, and you, you go through the cards, or cut the cards, and the coin is next to, it's kind of melted through the pack, and is next to the, the card that they've chosen. And you can show the other cards on the table afterwards. So it's, it's kind of fair, and importantly, when you've tapped the coin uh, put the cards above the coin and it vanishes, you turn the cards face up and cut the cards face up, which is very important, I think, because they're going to be like, oh, what's going on there? And if they don't see that it's clean, they're going to be very suspicious. So it's it looks great, all right, this thing. It's And it's really fun to do. It, you kind of do it and go, oh, that's quite cool. And you kind of turn it over and go, is it, is it going? And it just, it's brilliant. So the question you're going to have is, can you do it in all situations? The answer is, yeah, pretty much. Is it easy? It is easy. I kind of played with this a little bit and took it straight out. Is it a gimmick deck? Yes, clearly. Is it examinable? No, not really. But you, there's a quite, kind of clear display afterwards. Uh, and I don't think they're going to want it. You know, they're kind of looking at that coin. There's a little, you've got to be careful. There's a moment where you get the coin you show the coin on the cards and then pick up whatever you do with it. And if you don't do that properly, you can give the game away a little bit. Uh, so that's that's one issue. And that, the only other issue with this is that I have with all these kind of things is that they kind of do one thing. This is one of them. And, and I think that's very obvious. Now, there is a different version. Kyle Littleton, who makes no sense. See what he did there? said no sense because he makes no sense if you don't he made a trick called no sense which i also reviewed um have a look at that so uh very 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 quick i didn't even plan that so Cole littleton is on the download <laughs> and uh he has an alternative version which is a little bit more slighty which again looks really cool but i think they're, they're just different there's not one that's better than the other but it is it's hard to get well saying that it's hard to get context when i did it i kind of did a little coin routine i did a card thing with the same deck of cards, which is nice, because it's gimmicks, but you can do a couple of things with it. I did like a peak thing, uh, and then put the cards down, did a coin thing, and then kind of said, right, well, I'm going to mix both. We're going to do a card and a coin trick. Um, and it was really nice, actually, and that did give it some sort of context and meaning. So if you like the, the effect, and you want that effect, uh, you're going to get it. That's what you're going to get. For me, it's probably not the sort of thing I'm going to take out for pocket space, because, again, it doesn't do loads of stuff. But if I had to do something quick for camera or anything like that, or quick for live people but didn't have to carry a lot of stuff in my pocket so I would you know think about doing something like this that's really really nice but it's not going to suit everybody really well made uh, as Kyle says on the download the main bit you're not going to have to replace the easy bit to replace you are going and it's super super easy and I did replace it because I'm playing with it quite a lot um, just getting really really smooth with it and one of the bits did go and it took me about I don't know, five seconds to replace so it's, it was super easy so don't worry about that Right, that's that. Thanks very much. Any questions, let me know in the comments below because I do answer them on the live shows. And uh, like and subscribe, check out cardmagicals.com. Thanks.